All right. So to get games to update the software on our TI-83+, first things first, we're going to need an app to communicate with said device. So uh, first things first, what we're going to want to do is go look up TI Connect and your search bar. What this app does, it allows for a um, entire like UI that allows um, like uh, file exploration, um, screen capture, and all these different things on your TI-83 Plus or any device really that you use or any calculator, excuse me. So what we're going to do, you're going to download it for your selected device. I already have it downloaded, so I'm not going to re-download it. But after you have it downloaded and install it, you're going to go ahead and launch it. Um, and at this time, um, before I launch it, at this time, make sure your TI calculator is hooked up to your computer by using your graph link cable thing. Make sure your calculator is on and it has a fresh set of batteries and that it's all the way plugged in. After that, we're going to go ahead and launch TI Connect. So here it is. Looks well, simple, right? To test to see if your TI is connected, uh, go to TI Device Explorer. So you can see, look, it's going to say select a TI device. I have a strange thing with my cable, like I have to plug it into a specific port. So I'm going to go ahead and unplug my calculator and plug it into the right port. And I'm going to go ahead and click refresh. So this does crash every now and then, at least for me. Um, and it's fine. It's literally just the Explorer, the Explorer, as far as I can tell, nothing else really. So that closed. So we're fine. So TI Connect is still open, so we're going to go ahead and open it again. All right. Uh, now it's actually opening. So my device um, has already been preset with all my stuff. So what I'm actually going to do is show you where all these things will be um, put. So right here, TI-83+, that's my calculator. That's the one I showed in the short today that I posted. Go check out if you haven't already seen it. Um, protected programs in both the Flash archive and just uh, out in the protected programs folder. These are all of the things, all of the games, all of the um, things your calculator needs to play the said games. So what we're actually going to do for me, I'm going to do a full reset of my calculator and just delete everything I've already put on here. Because I want to give this a fresh start anyways. And then I've already got a backup image. And I just think with this program, like I just said I did a backup image, you can literally copy your entire calculator into one singular image and back it up from there. It's really nice to have, especially when you're doing like large um, things like this. Like you're trying to reset your entire calculator. So this UI looks a little bit old, but trust me, this works so much nicer than some alternatives that I've seen. Um, but yeah, it's going to say not responding. It is actually communicating with the calculator. While we wait for this to down or delete and do its stuff. Oh, there's already that. Cool. So now what we're going to do, um, we're going to go to, let's see if I can find it. Um, TI device information, device info. We're going to click there and we're going to let it load up our calculator. Um, so all of these things here, the only thing we're going to need after it loads is OS version. What it's going to say, oh, hang on. Oh, yeah, my health, my calculator was turned on. <laughs> oh, yeah, I did it. So there you go. I've already updated my calculator to the latest version of software, which if we go to Texas Instruments page on it, all of these links will be put down in the description if you guys need it. Um, TI-83 Plus um, in the software OS and update apps stuff, just click here, TI-83 Plus software. Now it's gonna give you like an entire um, information sheet thing you're going to have to fill out to get the actual um, software. I'm not going to fill out all of this information for personal reasons. But once you do that, you're going to go ahead and put in your email um, and put in why you need this update for the OS. Just say something like, I want to put games on my calculator. That's how you spell it. Um, 
agree to the terms and conditions and etc. Um, and there you go. Make sure you put in your right email. Um, and after that, like within the span of about 20 minutes, I think is what it said when I got my copy of the software, um, you should have an email sent to you with a link directly to the um, page where you can download the software. After you do that, this is where things get interesting. I already have my copy right here. Um, TI-83 plus 119 point, et cetera. Um, go ahead and close out of device info explorer thing. Uh, all we want right now is to have TI-83 plus uh, just device explorer open in the software. So this short from a few, or the short from a few months ago that I posted me updating the software, this is what I was doing. I'm gonna go ahead and take my software and I'm gonna drag it straight here into the TI-83 plus. Make sure the blue box is highlighted. Now it's gonna say something like, uh, all RAM is gonna be cleared. Yeah. Um, as long as you have nothing on your calculator that you really wanna keep and that you don't already have backed up, click okay. And I don't, since everything is already put in a safe dot tig backup. And click OK. And now we're going to wait, because this is going to take a few minutes um, to actually transfer over said stuff. And I think we are just about done. Boom. All right. All right. So calculator has been updated. Now, um, really quick, after. Device Explorer loads, make sure your stuff is all in order. Um, we're gonna actually gonna go back to tools and TI OS Explorer. Warning. Okay, so just gonna give us like a quick warning. I forgot to actually turn on my TI after I was done with the update thing. So make sure your calculator is still on. Um, we're gonna go ahead and go to, um, OS version. I think what I clicked on was TI uh, software downloader. So <laughs> that's probably what that was. So after this reloads, um, we should have our new OS. There you go. 1.19. iOS version doesn't really matter. And there you go. Your calculator has been successfully updated to 1.19, the latest version of TI OS. So. Let's put some games on, shall we? Now, quick disclaimer. Um, all of the games that we are about to put on our calculator, none of this is mine. TICalc.org has a huge file archives where I am pulling games from the people who have already created. I'm going to leave a link to TICalc and a couple of the games that I put on. Um, but yeah. So, first things first. To actually play the games, we're going to need an emulator. For those who do retro gaming, you probably know what this is. An emulator is a set of software that allows the computer or allows for an older piece of software to be understood in new stuff, if that makes sense. So we're going to get an emulator called Mirage OS. And this Mirage OS allows for different things like um, tons of different apps and stuff to be um, put on your calculator. So I'm gonna put it on my desktop just cause why not? Um, and right here, Mirage OS. So inside is an emulator. We're gonna go ahead and drag that just like we did with the calculator OS um, and press OK. So this is going to take a little bit of time, but not as much as it would if we were doing a full update. Um, while we wait, oh, it already exists. OK, I'm going to replace it just because I can. So it's going to take a little bit of time, like I said. So we're going to go ahead and get some apps. So the next thing that I want to get, um, this one, there's like tons of different emulators you can get for your different computers and stuff. Um, but the next thing I want to get is an app called Zdu. Um, what was it? Yeah, calc. So we're going to go ahead and go to ZDoom. As I said, there's tons of different emulators. Um, where I was going with that is ZDoom isn't actually built for Mirage OS. It's more so built for another emulator called Ion, but I was not able to get that working. 
So I just used Mirage OS to see if it would work, and it worked just fine. I can't really tell a difference. Um, but yeah, there's Zdoom. So now we're going to go um, to over here in the games folder and stuff. You can click on Mirage OS down here, and it'll allow you to see all the apps available for Mirage OS. And now I'm going to get a. We've already got Zdoom, um, the Doom version. We're going to scroll down to Z Tetris. Uh, we're also going to save that one. And you can do multiple files at a time. I'm not sure if I said that yet. Um, in transporting and stuff, it's really fun. Um, but now we're going to get a game called Zombies. And it's nothing too insane. But it's... Um, here it is. It's going to call it Zombie Gun. Um, Zombie Gun is really fun, and you're a 2D character, as it says in the description. Um, you get money by killing zombies, and killing certain zombies will allow you more money. You get different weapons, etc. We're going to download that. Um, let's see, where's. Did. Yeah, we already got Tetris. Okay. So now, since I have all of my. Uh, games and whatnot. We're going to go ahead and control, since I'm on um, Windows, and just drag them over. So it's going to ask for a lot of files for some of these, uh, some games. Usually it's fine. Um, but now it's a matter of waiting, as Doom is incredibly large. It's like 16 kilobytes, and the RAM of the TI Calc is like, or the TI Calc of the calculator is like, I want to say, 24 kilobytes. But yeah, so now it's just a matter of waiting game, just like the OS. But after this is done, I'll show you how to launch the files. Okay, that was a lot faster than I thought it would be. But as you can see, something's a little different here as program and protected program are now both back with all of these things. I'm pretty sure all of these are just like different um, like achievements or different things for zombie, a zombie gun. But now we are going to get off of the computer and we're going to take a look at our calculator. All right, so we have our calculator. If you want, you can go ahead and unplug it. I'm going to do that um, from my computer. So we're going to bring our calculator over here. And as you can see, it's already turned on. Um, if your screen is dark, what I found is that if you press and hold down second and then press the down arrow, or just press second and press the down arrow right after it, your screen brightness will get brighter, and it's the inverse if you press up with it. Um, that'll get your screen darker. But yeah, uh, that's how that works if you guys are, like, nervous you did something wrong. You probably didn't. It's just this. Um, so, to launch Mirage OS, we're going to go ahead and click on Apps. Uh, there might be, like, like, a CBS thing here or something. I've brought that out because it was taking up too much space. Uh, so finance, we're going to go down to Mirage OS. We're going to press enter. Now sorting. So um, pretend you didn't see this, this games file. Uh, nothing's inside of it because all my stuff has been deleted. Um, this is what's going to pop up the first time you launch your thing. You can go and press enter. And there you go. There's the folder with all your stuff in it. You've got Doom, Zombies, and Z Tetris. To launch your stuff, you're just going to press second or uh, enter. And depending on the game you have, there are different controls like a zombie gun. Um, you jump with second and you shoot with alpha, or it's the other way around. And Z Tetris, you just press enter to select all your stuff. To get out of games um, on Doom, if you're in the screen like this, you press quit or mode. Um, and then for zombie gun, I think it's clear as well. Z Tetris, it's clear. But yeah, there's tons of different controls for uh, different games that you have. Um, it does get confusing. But if you guys want me to make like a guide on that or something, let me know. Um, but to get out of Mirage OS, all you have to do is press quit. That's literally it. And there you go, your calculator is back to normal. To check to see how much storage you have, 
to see how many games you want to put on or how many games you can put on you can press second and go down here and press mem or plus you can go down to uh, mem all and there you go you can see what programs have taken up what amount of space plus how much space is free right now we have about 24,000 kilobytes free um, in the RAM and about a hundred and six thousand left in archive but yeah that should be about it in regards to making your calculator super cool with games I hope you guys enjoyed watching um, if you did please do leave a like and subscribe let me know when uh, what do you want to see more of later in the future and I will see you dudes in the next video goodbye